Hello friends, we've seen a lot of generative AI tools popping up each new day. A couple of weeks ago, Runway unveiled their Gen 2, which is their text-to-video and image-to-video tool. And today, they released it, sadly not fully public yet for everyone, but for a limited amount of beta testers. And uh, I'm one of the lucky few. But the big question, is it any good? Let's find out. A viewer asked me where I get all my dad jokes, and I said... I keep them all in a database. So a couple of hours ago, Emily from Runway posted this in a welcome instructions channel for Gen 2. Hi everyone, and this, if you can see this here, then you have been invited. And it says, we are really excited to announce that you can now use and test Gen 2 in the Generate channels. Gen 2 is a text to video model, so it does not need an input video to produce an output. All you need for Gen 2 is one of the following inputs. You can do it with a simple text prompt, so text to video, reference image, so image to video, or combining those two. And it works uh, in the same way that uh, Gen 1 did in the beginning it as a Discord uh, chat in the similar way as Midjourney does as well. And they keep going, but please keep in mind that Gen 2 is still in early research beta and will continue to improve over time. We welcome any and all feedback. And Gen 1 is also still available for use in this channel. So if you had Gen 1 access, you might have Gen 2 access now. And I actually saw in the updates here, and this was just uh, 30-ish minutes ago, it's 8, it's 8 p.m. here in Sweden. And it says, you may have seen conversations that Gen 2 beta access has started rolling out today. And access is limited while we're still in early research beta testing. Access for everyone is coming in the next few weeks and any updates will be posted here. Yada, 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 everyone will have access soon. Lucky me, I have access. Lucky you, you get to see it. So they put together a little video to introduce this. I thought we we're going to have a look-see. Hello and welcome to Gen 2. You are just seconds away from creating videos in a completely new way, using your keyboard as a camera. Gen 2 is a text-to-video model, which is pretty self-explanatory. Type in what you want, and Gen 2 will generate it. But text isn't the only way to control Gen 2. You can provide a reference image and text prompt to generate with Gen 2, or just use an image reference with no text prompt. In its most simple form, at the Gen 2 bot, then just type in what you want and hit enter. A new thread will be created, and your generation will appear after a minute or two. You can expose the parameters used for your generation and- So if you've been around for a while, you recognize some of these things here. So the prompt here, here they have the beautiful waterfall, the CFG scale, that's how close the AI will listen to your prompt. A lower scale would give the AI more creative freedom. Like if you set this to one, for example, you might not even get a waterfall. And you set this to high, like 10, 20, 30, it's going to force into a waterfall, whether it looks good or not. The seed here is basically the random seed that the noise is created from. The only point in having this really is that, uh, well, first you get different um, results each time. And two, you can return to a seed and recreate something. Upscale is basically just upscaling, making it bigger and better, high resolution. Uh, interpolate, I think, is when they like sort of tween between frames and a green screen. Well, if you have like a person, you can uh, make a green screen behind them. Change them on future generations, giving you different results. And as a quick refresher, this is how changing parameters works. After your prompt, include two dashes, then the parameter you want to change. Please make sure they're this is the same as in mid journey. You have your prompt, you have double dash, and then the command, and, and if it's a number. There's no spaces between the second dash and the beginning of the parameter name. As a reference, parameter definitions and examples can be found here. If you have any questions or feedback about Gen 2, feel free to ping your runway representative. Please keep in mind that Gen 2 is still in its early stages. Now, all of these uh, examples are probably cherry picked, but I mean, they look okay based off of that it is a text to video thing. I mean, it's still fairly, the, the jankiness of everything, like you can see that uh, the leaves and, and well, everything is just jiggling around. And that's something that needs to be sorted with um, generative AI video. So what you see today will likely be different as we continue making refinements to the model over time. Now, go get generated. All right, cool. So uh, let's check it out. So here's an example I did with the text flying over a field of colorful flowers. And the result is this, which is, I mean, it's okay. Nothing to write home about, but it works. And then I did Samuel L. Jackson as a Sith Lord in Star Wars, having a lightsaber duel with a Jedi. And 
while I got something that is similar, it's, well, not really anything. So it's just some blinking around in the face here and the mouth is moving. So from a first kind of look at it here, these two aren't, uh, well, amazing to be honest. They are not. But uh, let's keep going. And then I did here. I had an image from uh, Mid Journey. You might recognize this from one of my other videos. And it had a camera pan of a blue haired woman in perfect lighting, nighttime, bokeh background. And I tried an upscale on that as well. And the result here, if you just look at the image here, it's not really resembling the one up there. I mean, you have a blue haired woman in some kind of lighting, nighttime, bokeh background. That it got correct. The text prompt. It got correct. But honestly, it doesn't resemble the image at all. And if you check the video here, I don't know what to do about it. Then I tried again here with just the image. And sadly, we got an error on safe content detected. Please try again with a different input. I don't know why. But um, so that didn't work. And then I tried this one here. So this is an image that I had for one of my other videos, which was an intro. So I had me on a green screen in front of this, and I was sitting in this little control room here. So that was kind of cool playing around with that. And I didn't give it a text prompt. I just wanted to try the image. And the result was this. And while this result, if you, if you just forget about the image up here, now this result is actually fairly okay. It looks like an actual video without the jiggling. As you, if you look at the, the leaves here, they're actually pretty good. And you can see the, like the structure here, I don't know what it is. It's actually holding up quite well. And you have some kind of guy or woman walking here. So from a photorealistic perspective, I mean, it's a pretty good video compared to all the other stuff we've seen. However, it doesn't resemble this very much. It's got the green here, here, and some of the shapes maybe, but it didn't understand what that was. So I tried it again. And what I did here then is I took this image and what I wrote was science fiction control room, blinking buttons and screens. And now we're getting somewhere we can actually see that, well, it seems like a science fiction control room, blinking buttons and screens. However, it's not really close to our original at all. So here we have another example. I put in a futuristic sci-fi robot standing in a beautiful, serene, futuristic paradise biodome. And the result we got here is, was well, fairly okay. I put in interpolate, so you can see actually, uh, especially up here, now we're going to cut out part of the frame but that's okay you can see up it kind of mushes together a little bit so i think that's part of the interpolation but uh, the robot here you can see the leg that's moving fairly all right it's just three seconds this one and then we have a penguin riding a bicycle here we got some clouds here and as the penguin isn't moving a lot it's actually keeping its you know the integrity of the character so that's uh pretty good we have some movement in the wheels here. So I say except the fact that there's now another one popped up here, but let's look at that in a bit. Now except the fact that the penguin lacks like basic features like legs and feet and the bicycle is kind of weird, I'd say technically like or technologically this is a pretty good result. I hope we can improve on this and, and you know go further. Anyway uh, let me show you what this was. So I put in an astronaut jumping and I added dash dash green screen true. And let's look at that together because I haven't seen it yet. So we have an astronaut here. It's well, I wouldn't call him jumping. It's kind of floating, but we are actually getting the green screen. So that's kind of nice. Let's, let's see if we can get another green screen going. So I put in man running green screen true. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll just uh, skip forward. All right, so we have the man running completed here. Let's check it out together. We have a man uh, jankly running forward, but at least it's working. And I have to be honest with you guys. I mean, I think this is cool. I really do. But I have been spoiled by new AI technology and AI stuff coming in lately. Don't get me wrong. This is amazing. I just expected a little more from Gen 2. I mean, 
what we had with Gen 1, especially the stylization in Gen 1, I think this is still going to be the big part when that gets fine-tuned even more. If you remember my last video, I'm gonna, if you're on a computer, I'll link it up here. You remember we did a video from an input and changed it in a similar style to what they do here. Text to video will be super powerful and I believe it will have a great potential. I just think, well, like in the early days of uh, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, Dolly, etc. We're not really there yet, but we're getting there and we're moving quickly. What do you guys think? Am I expecting too much or uh, is this amazing or is this uh, just okay? Runway has some great stuff, I'll tell you that. They've uh, implemented a lot of new tools on their site. So uh, check that out if you want. Most of them are paid, just, you know, throwing it out there. This is not a sponsored video. Let's see what the future entails. I sure as hope this will be improved even further. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, like and subscribe. But I'm not your boss. Do whatever you want. But if you do, I appreciate it. It will help me. I do the research so you don't have to. As always, have a good one. See ya.